a simple exercise that I find is the best exercise to promote knee health. But this is the, the one exercise I think that is a, a panacea for people's knees. So what I'd like you to do is face me and lean on your right leg and come to the left toe tip and just face towards me. I'm turning sideways sometimes so you get a better angle of what I'm doing. Round the back out slightly so you lengthen the lower back. Keep the lower back lengthened and then lead from your core to step the left leg back to a lunge position. Then from that position, turn your body to the right side and put the left foot back onto the floor. Then that, from that position, lean onto your right leg and turn your left thigh fully inwards. Then twist the belly to the left side. And from that position, if you feel your hamstring, your hamstring should be quite firm and your buttocks quite soft. And then from there, check again, I'll turn sideways so you can see that your back is lengthened, your navel and your trunk is twisting to your left slightly, your left thigh is turning inwards to your right. And that should make your buttocks relaxed and your hamstring quite firm. This hamstring firmness is really good to supplement any deficiency in your anterior cruciate ligament. And what it does also, is you'll feel the front of your thigh is very relaxed. So if you have pain at the front of the thigh, it can release it a lot. But if you have instability in the knee, it's good to tighten all the muscles around the knee. So already the back of your thigh is firm. If you now move your thigh slightly to the right side, you'll feel the inner thigh becomes very firm. That will release tension on the outside of the hip, which can often be a source of many knee problems, including patella uh, tracking, uh, maltracking problems. Then to tighten the front of the thigh, I want you to pull up your kneecap. So just tighten the front of the thigh by pulling up your kneecap. And then spread the toes by pushing the base of the big toe further away and pull the outer foot towards your knee. So the outer foot toward the knee will tighten the outer shin bone. And now you've got five sets of muscles around the knee or firm. So to tighten them all in one go, pull up the kneecap, tighten the front of the thigh, Turn the thigh inwards, you'll feel the hamstring or the back of the thigh firm. Push your thigh slightly toward the right side, you'll feel the inner thigh firm more, which releases the outer hip. Spread the toes and push the base of the big toe further away, that tightens your calf, the back of the calf. And pull the outer foot toward the knee and that tightens the outer calf. Then relax your abdomen, lengthen your back and breathe into the abdomen. You can use a wall for balance, or if your balance is not as good, you'll be in the air. And sometimes it's nice to touch the toe tip to the floor as well. So whenever my leg is in the air, you could have just the toe tip. Then release the grip and bring the leg in front, and you could just rest there. Or if you want to, another good exercise is to bring your forearm under the knee and then squash the arm with your hamstring. And that tightens the hamstring and it releases the front of the knee then release and put the leg back down. This is a really useful thing to do to just get knee stability happening and to release any tension, especially the tensions that come in the knee as a result of our daily life. Let's do the second leg. So this time, stand on your left leg and come to the right toe tip. Use a wall or a chair for balance if you wish. I'm turning different sides so you can see the angles of my body. So on your right toe tip, round the back out to lengthen the back of the body. Then step back with your right leg and come to the right toe tip. And then from that position, practice twisting your thigh and your body. So turn your belly button to the left side, twist it to the right side. Set, see, when I'm moving, I'm moving my navel. I'm not just moving my shoulders. Move the belly button left and right. Get that comfort feeling. And then get a sense that your pubic bone controls your thigh. So now turn your right thigh inwards and outwards. And when that happens, your pubic bone should control it. So move the pubic bone to your left, turn your thigh to the left. Move pubic bone to your right, turn your thigh to the right. Now we control them together. I want the belly button to control your chest and arms, the pubic bone to control your leg. So from this position now, I want you to turn your belly button and your chest to the right side, 
your pubic bone and your thigh to the left side. And when you do that, you'll feel your buttocks should soften. Your hamstring should become quite firm, especially if you're on your toe tip. If you did it the other way, let's try it. Turn the belly button and chest to left. Turn your pubic bone and thigh to right. Now you'll feel your buttocks goes hard and your hamstring goes soft. This is a useful position, but for the knee, a better one is the other way. So twist the belly button and chest to right. Turn your pubic bone and thigh to left. And that will open the sacroiliac joint. Very good to relieve the lower back. And it hardens the hamstring, which is very good for the knee. Now, if you just stay like that and feel relaxed, you'll feel the front of your thigh is relaxed. And sometimes that's enough to fix problems at the front of the knee. You can stay on the toe tip or look at the floor for balance, grip with the toes for balance, bend the knee for balance, and maybe lift the right leg off the floor if you wish. You could even hold a wall to help your balance. But then from there, if you want to go a little bit further, you can release outer hip tension, which causes a lot of knee pain, by moving your thigh to the left. And as you move the thigh to the left, you'll feel your inner thigh becomes firm. And the inner thigh is important to tense because it attaches to your, uh, the inside knee muscles, which are often very weak in many people's knees. And it releases the outer hip, which is often very stiff in people's knees. Then from there, if you want to, you can tighten the front of the knee as well by pulling up the kneecap. And that's something you do consciously. Then spread the toes and tighten the calf muscle by pushing the base of the big toe further away and pull the outer foot to the knee to tighten the outer calf. Now this, what we've done now, is tighten five sets of muscles around the knee. So you can do it again if you wish. One, pull up the kneecap, tighten front of thigh. Two, turn the thigh inwards and the belly outwards to tighten the hamstrings and the back of the thigh. Then squeeze your thigh toward the left, tightens the inner thigh. Spread the big toe base away and tighten the calf and pull the outer foot to the knee to tighten the outer calf. Now, either stay on the toe tip or lift the leg off the floor. Check your back is lengthened and that you can breathe into your abdomen and move fingers, shoulders, neck, and then bend the knee and either come back to rest or if you wish, take your right forearm under your right knee and squash the forearm. And that tightens the back of the knee and releases the front. Put the leg back down. This is a really good thing to do if you've got knee problems, provided it feels good while you're doing it. And it's also a good thing to do as a preparation before practice. I'm really excited to say I've just completed my program on knee therapy. This is a four and a half hour pre-recorded video series where I go through all the major problems of the knee and the simple things you can do with posture, movement, breathing and mental control to help fix your knee. I damaged my knee more than 40 years ago. I fell on a series of major accidents. I damaged my ACL, my meniscus, my patella. And I've used these simple exercises, which I can share with you in this program, to fix my knee. I'm 100% functional in my knees now, something which we did not think was possible in the beginning. Most people just go for surgery. Surgery is not the only option. Surgery also has some complications. And so if you can avoid going for surgery, think about this. And if you need surgery, you go for it. But maybe after surgery, think about doing what I'm offering. It will give you a stable knee, a mobile knee, and something which can be a really good result with a little bit of personal effort rather than putting your life, your body, into someone else's hands. Think about this. I think it can really help you.